in high definition. President Trump has delivered an overdue Christmas present to millions of Americans. Late Sunday, the president signed Congress's $2.3 trillion spending package, which included billions in COVID-19 relief aid. Millions of Americans lost their unemployment benefits Saturday after the president refused to sign the bill. NBC's Jennifer Johnson has the latest. After a day spent on the golf course and under immense pressure from both Democrats and Republicans, President Trump reversed course, signing the massive spending bill passed by Congress, which included $900 billion in COVID relief aid. The president's last-minute decision averted a government shutdown starting Tuesday. Earlier Sunday, several lawmakers begged the president to endorse the package. What we need to do is have the president sign that bill today, right now, or else the suffering of this country will be immense. President Trump signed the bill after the House and Senate agreed to vote on increasing one-time payments to most Americans from $600 to $2,000, although many in the GOP still oppose that. I don't agree with $2,000 checks to people who've had no lost income whatsoever, which is the vast majority of Americans. The bill provides protection from evictions, new loans for struggling small businesses, and another $8 billion for vaccine distribution, as federal health officials predict another post-holiday surge of COVID-19 deaths. We have a grim month ahead of us. It's the East Coast and the West Coast and Florida as well, where cases are still building. The U.S. death toll from COVID-19 is now over 330,000, while new cases have shot up from 18 million to over 19 million in less than a week. Jennifer Johnson, NBC News, Washington. President Trump signed the bill after he says both the House and Senate agreed to look into what he claims was, quote, substantial voter fraud in the 2020 election, although there has been no evidence of that.